How Tuesdays on RideBMX.com. I'm Mark Burnett, and I'm going to teach you how to hop whip. So basically, you want to probably start by knowing how to tail whip on some sort of fly out or something. Usually that helps. It'll give you the motions of doing a tail whip a lot better than if you try it on flat ground at first because you'll have a little bit more time in the air to do what you need to do. So you're going to start out like moderate speed. It even helps to go like pretty slow because if you're going a little bit faster, it doesn't really help at all. It just kind of hurts when you fall. What you're going to want to do is you're going to bunny hop and you're going to want to kick the bike. Usually you bring your front foot over the bike on the back end and then kick your left foot or vice versa if you're kicking it the other way. Kick your back end around and then your arms come into play and you're going to want to do like a tight oval motion and it'll kind of snap your bike around. You're gonna to want to keep your bike underneath you at all times because you'll see a lot of people try and hop whips and their bike will land next to them. It's because they, they got the bike around, but they didn't keep it underneath them. They kind of swung their arms out a little too far and then you won't be able to get it back underneath you when you go to catch it. And then basically when you get it, get it around, you're gonna to want to just spot your pedals and just flop onto it as best as you can. At the beginning, they're going to be sloppy, you know, because it's just really all just strength, you know. A tail up on a quarter pipe, you have all the uh, the transition to give you the pop, but on flat ground, it's just really just having the technique and just muscling it around as best as you can. Whether you're doing it regular, switch, over something, fakey, and a half grab, whatever you, the case may be, it's really just all power and then just keeping that bike underneath you. The hop whip really just has a lot to do with commitment and really all you gotta do is just keep your legs just sucked up a little bit and then just spot those pedals or cranks and just land. And landing crank arm is not necessarily a bad thing. There's like multiple different styles of hop whip and if you're catching pedals, that's amazing and it definitely looks beautiful, but it is hard to do consistently because it's kind of landing at the same time as your bike. So it comes more of a hassle when you're doing it downstairs or something where you have like a big drop and landing on your pedals as your bike hits the ground down a set of stairs is not necessarily um, comfortable and it can be a lot more inconsistent. So sometimes people hate on landing crank arm, but if you like how your tail whips look, then who cares? You know, you do it a way that someone else doesn't necessarily approve of. Like nobody cares, you know what I mean? You're just doing your own trick. This is freestyle. So yeah, I hope my couple of tips help you to land your first hop whip and check back every Tuesday for How Tuesdays on RodBMX.com.